In this video, we are going to add the surface and trees to the map. And the first thing I want to do is to create the prefabs. So let's go to our models um, folder here and find our trees first of all. The trees um, needs to be brought into the scene and rotated because if we add them, as you can see, um, then all of them are rotated except the bush here. Um, so select them one by one after you have added them to the scene and set the rotation to zero. And the other thing is that we need them as prefabs later when we need to add scripts to them instead of models. So it's totally fine just to keep them as trees. Oops, I added simple two times, I can see. Uh, I forgot to add pine. There we go. And now when you have them rotated, all of them except, um, except the bush, then you take them and put them into the prefab folder called trees. If you don't have the trees folder, you just right click and create it down here. Can't remember if we did that in the last video. So we put this one in here, original prefab, this one, original, this one, original, this one, original, and this one, original. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. That was hard for me to count to five. There we go. So with that done, we also have to create the tiles at the top here. Um, and if we didn't do that, in the, in, if you haven't done that before, then we have to do it now. So let's go to our uh, models and blocks and then take all of them called top and drag them into the scene and do the same thing where you set the rotation to zero for all of them. When you've done that, you go to the prefab folder called blocks and take them and drag them in here and make them into an original prefab again. And then we delete them from the scene. Let's start by creating the surface so the trees have something to stand on. So you right click on map builder, create empty and call it surface. Then you go to map builder, we click the little plus here and create the surface. And then we take the parent and add it as the surface. Then we have um, green underscore dark. We have green underscore light. Actually, let's just call this one one green underscore light. And then just swap these two around. And then we have our sand. So the sand is the same color. So basically we just take block sand top and replace that one um this one is not going to be water it's going to be green light top so add that one and the one that's more stirred needs to be green dark so take green dark top and put that one there then we need the right values here so let's see i have them off screen the dark green one is this x color you can pause the video if you want to read it and the light one is this one. And there we go. So these are the prefabs. The map data is going to be the one called map. So we take that and drag up there. Then we clear the map and build. And now we have a map with a surface on. The next thing we need to do is to add the trees. So we just click the plus and we rename this one to trees. We create a new uh, empty game object all trees we select mac builder again go to prefabs and here we have to do it a bit different so let's just delete all these delete delete and delete and we select the trees as the parent for this one and then we click the, click the little plus here and what i want to do is to place a random tree whenever there is a black dot on on this trees map here so you can see all the black dots should just be a random tree so we don't have to decide which kind of trees goes where uh, i can see there is some pink dots here and some blue ones basically we need to ignore them because we don't need them for the trees the only thing i'm interested in is the black dots so just um, ignore the, those two colors basically and we can ignore them by just not adding them in over here so we call this one random tree um, and the game objects that we can add is every single uh, tree prefab basically so we actually just expand game object we click the little lock then we go to prefabs and trees select all of these and drag them onto here so we have them so whenever the color is black let's just make sure that it has an alpha value of 255 and then hexadecimal is zero all the way 
Whenever it's black, we are going to place a random tree. As the mesh render, we can use the same as we did before from the others. So we means we can just go and take a random block. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what we take here, I think. So just take a block that's the same size. Um, and that's actually it. So now we can we, we are placing a random tree on that. We need to select map and take the one called trees instead. And you'll see it will place the same tree no matter what right now. We clear it and build. Um, oh, I'm trying to, I think I'm trying to use a mesh render that doesn't exist here. Yeah. So I need to go to, let's go to prefab blocks and then take block dirt and put here. Um, because I can't use a block that is in the scene because I'm clearing it, of course. So let's clear and build again. And you'll see it places the same tree everywhere. And that's because we haven't made it random. So how do we make it random? We simply just write some code here so that it's random. It's pretty easy to do that because we just need to set this index up here to a random number. If we change the index, the tree is going to change. So we simply say, well, if the game object's length is more than one, which means we have more game objects in the same um, category here. For example, this one is this is what we are looking for. If there's more than one, then we pick a random. Well, we say index equals random dot range from zero to map element dot length um map element dot game objects dot length. There we go, and that's actually it because now it picks a random index based on that, and it uses that index down here to spawn the element. So if we save it now, we jump back into the scene, clear and build our map. Let's just update it. There we go. And build, you'll see that now we have random trees every time we build the map. So every time we press build, it's going to build a random tree for us. So that's what I want to do in this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.